Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to make a hamburger cake. It might look like it's hard to make it, but it's not. So I hope you will enjoy this video and make your own hamburger cakes. To start you will need 3 layers of cake and the top of it should be a dome. My cakes just bake like that, so I'm liking this case. But if your cakes come out flat, you can always just carve the top of them to that shape. So first thing that I'm doing is cutting off a little bit of the dome to make it more even. Now take your middle layer and the small cake board and cut off the edge of the cake to make it smaller. Take your third cake layer and just cut off the bottom of it at an angle. Now you are ready to put it together. Spread some buttercream on your cake board and stick to it the bottom layer of the cake. I'm spreading on it some black crunch jam And whipped cream. Make sure to put it only in the middle part of your cake because the middle layer is a little bit smaller than the bottom one. Cover it with the middle layer and again spread some jam and cream and cover it with the top layer. Put your cake in the fridge for about 30 minutes to let it set up. After that time apply to your cake a buttercream cum coat. And again, put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. Now apply a second layer of buttercream. And when you finish, put it in the fridge for another 30 minutes until the buttercream will get hard. Now to smooth the surface of buttercream, use a knife heated up in the boiling water. And also clean a cake board with a wet paper towel. And once you finish, put the cake in the fridge for another 10 minutes. After that time, roll some white fondant and cover your cake with it. Cut off the excess and use a Dresden tool to push the fondant under the cake at the bottom. If you got any air bubbles, just pop them with a tiny needle and push the air out. Now it's time for the airbrush. If you don't have it, you can just simply paint your cake with a brush and put colors dissolved in alcohol. I'm starting with a very light layer of skin color paint and I'm covering my whole cake with it. Now I'm using yellow color and it doesn't have to be very even. In the end I'm using brown color to add some shadow at the bottom of the cake and under the dome. I'm using it also in few random places. Now we can move on to other parts of our hamburger. To make the lettuce, roll out a long piece of green fondant, fill it on one side and cut it into smaller pieces. Fold them in your hand and dust them with a darker green dust color. And 
can use some water to stick the lettuce to the cake. To make the meat, roll along a sausage shape from brown fondant. And use a tin foil ball to add some texture to it. Stick it to the cake and then use a dress and tool to add a little bit more of the texture to it. Now it's time for the cheese. Roll out some yellow fondant and cut a square from it and divide it into four triangles. Add some yellow dust color to them and stick them to the cake. To make tomatoes, roll out some red fondant, keep it thick, and use a circle cutter to cut out some shapes, and then cut straight lines to create tomatoes pieces. Use a dress dental to make some dents in them, and add a little bit of yellow dust color inside them. Use water to stick the tomatoes to the cake. For the onions, roll out purple and white fondant and stick them together. And cut it into stripes. Stick the onion pieces around the cake. Now it's time for the pickles. Roll out some green fondant and use a circle cutter to cut out some shapes from it. And cut straight lines on them. Make thin stripes from darker green fondant and stick them around the pickle pieces. Mark some dents in them using the other side of small brush and add some yellow dust to them. Stick the pickles to your cake. Use a dress and tool to mark some creases on your cake above the pickles. Now make tiny cones from very light brown fondant to create sesame seeds and stick them to the top of your cake. In the end, roll out a long piece of white fondant, cut it straight on one side, add some water to the cake board and stick the fondant to it. Cut off the excess fondant and add a ribbon around the cake board. I'm using a double sided tape to do that. The hamburger cake is done. Let me know in the comments how did you like it. And if you will make one too, please share it with me. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like that. If you would like to see how to make a giant ice cream cake, click on that picture in the top right corner.